What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for uh, the sign of Aquarius. This can resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your charts: Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, 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 or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is flu fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. For the sign of Aquarius. Um, I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Haven, and Jupiter charts for additional message or messages um, if they apply for you. I did receive a couple channel messages as I was meditating on your weekly readings for sign of Aquarius. And the first one I heard an Aquarius, um, I heard, I didn't hear Aquarius, I'm sorry. I heard releasing um, toxic third party and I heard earth sign and uh, water sign. And what was the second one? Hold on a second. Releasing toxic third party. So I feel for some, you could have already released the toxic third party. Um, and for some, it's a water sign or earth sign, masculine or femme, water sign, earth sign. For some, I feel you could upcoming be releasing the toxic third party, whether it's a water sign or, or um, earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I heard toxic. So, and third parties are always toxic. They always are. Um, I don't judge polygamy. I don't. But, um, and I know it works for some people, but for most people, when they're in third parties, especially if it's sneaky link, Decepticon type energy, uh, um, et cetera, like sugar mama, sugar daddy, things like that, that never works out. It just, it never does long term. And that's just the truth. Um, so congratulations to the ones that have already released the toxic third parties. For some, you're about to, I'm feeling, but you plug it in, how it resonates. I can't remember the third one. Give me a second. Spare messages you. Fair message you share with people. Oh, yeah. All money is not good money. That's what I heard. All money is not good money. So you plug in and how it resonates, Aquarius. So all money is not good money. So I feel for some you could have received kickbacks or you're about to be offered kickbacks or money under the table or um, hush money or something like that. But that's what I heard. All money is not good money. Um, I feel for some you could have already been offered this. Maybe for some, you've accepted it. For some, it could be upcoming. You're about to be offered it. Um, for some, you could be offering it to somebody. You plug in, how it resonates. Energies can be reversed. But all money is not good money. I feel hush money, kickbacks, etc., etc., etc. Eggs, success assured with good plans and hard work. Unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Firecracker, excitement. A home is about to be attempted to be sold soon, but it cannot be sold because of fraudulent paperwork. It's about to run into serious roadblocks. For one, you're about to help it get to the rightful owner. Oh, a home is about to be sold soon or attempted to be sold soon, I heard. Um, and spirit message you have signed up for it. Home is attempted to be sold soon, but it's under like fraudulent pretenses and fraudulent paperwork. Um, I heard for one, you're going to help uh, create the series of chain of events to get the home to the rightful owner. Uh, for one, you could be trying to sell the home. Only you know if you specialize in criminal or not. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. And I'm not trying to offend anybody, but that's just the truth. So um, only you know if you're trying to sell this home under fraudulent pretenses or you're trying to help it get to the rightful owner. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? Four cups reverse, Knight of Cups upright, Ace of Wands upright. <clears throat> oh. 
A water sign is desperately trying to get into your energy. You have blocked this person when you're about to. They're desperately trying to get into your energy. For some, they're trying to come back and reconcile. Desperately. They were feeding off you. But intuitively, you know this. Ooh, we Energy sucking energy. Water sign energy. It could be the one you're about to put off with the third party. For some, for some, it could be any other water sign. They could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and they're Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Minnie with Jupiter charts. Um, they're not giving up. They're not giving up. No rest, no relaxation. Some, you've already blocked them out of your energy. For some, you're about to. They want to reconcile. They want to come back. They want energy harvest. They want energy suck. I heard they were energy sucking off of you. Um, they're going to come in very sweet, very loving, very kind, but it's manipulation here in this aspect. It could be a masculine or feminine water sign. I feel for some it could be a masculine because they're coming up as masculine energy. For some it could be a feminine that takes on heavy masculine. But in this aspect, it's not true giving loving kind energy. It's manipulation. Um, they want to take action because they miss your energy. Whoever you are, Aquarius. Um, for some, it could be like a short break, like on a break. For some, you could have completely blocked their ass. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. Holy shit. I heard specifically a water sign. It could be a masculine feminine water sign. They could have uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Moon, Haven, and Jupiter charts. They're going down energetically, and you know this. They're going down energetically, and you know this is what I just heard. They're going down energetically, and you know this. So this water sign is going down energetically, but it's because they were feeding off your energy, Aquarius. But, uh, yeah, we got the tower, man. Tower. They're going down um, energetically because they were using your energy. Princess of Swords upright, Two of Pentacles upright, tower. Someone you're about to never expect is about to tell you about someone putting you in a third party. For some, you're about to learn about someone else that's been put in a third party. Heavy. I have been picking up such heavy third party energy in Aquarius. Such heavy. I picked it up a little bit in other signs too, but very heavy in y'all's reading. Uh, y'all sign. Very, very, very heavy. Seems like every single reading I do for you guys in the past month or so, third party. And that's just the truth. So I don't know who I'm pulling in with Aquarius in your chart, but uh, I feel several of you guys are in third parties, whether you know it or not. Whether you have placed yourself in a third party or whether somebody's placed you. Um, and I'm just being for real. For one of you guys, uh, somebody's going to tell you you're in a third party. It's going to create power. Truth, honesty, clarity of the juggling of the third party is going to create the power. For some, you're about to find it out by somebody else. You're about to find out by somebody else, someone you would have never expected about somebody else being a third party. Truth, honesty, clarity uh, about them juggling, putting somebody else in a third party, it's going to create power. For some, you'd be dealing with a Scorpio um, or not. If you are, they have Scorpio and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Behavior, Jupiter charts. Holy moly. For some, the other person I feel could be somebody close to you. In some shape, form, or fashion, possibly, is what I'm feeling. Or someone you know around the community or the world or what have you, what have you. Okay? Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, Aquarius. Holy crap. Um, all right, let's move on to tea leaves. God. Success assured with good plans and hard work. For some, it's an air sign, third party. Okay, for some, it's an air sign, third party. For some, it's a um, water sign. So, for some, it's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some, it's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You plug it in how it resonates. 
um, whether it's your third party or somebody you're connected to, you're about to find out they're in a third party. Heavy air sign, heavy um, water sign. Egg, uh, success assured with good plans and hard work. An Aquarius is about to go on their own, independent. It's about to shock a lot of people, but you know it's about to benefit you in a huge way. Okay, an Aquarius is about to go on their own, independent. I heard it's about to shock a lot of people, but it's about to benefit you in a huge way. So, independent vibes. Um, for some, you could have been codependent in the past, or you had a co-worker or co-business partner, or you worked in the workforce, or what have you, what have you. Somehow, you're about to go independent. So, I feel you're about to create a business or businesses, or you already have a business or businesses, and you're about to compound upon them. Um, but somehow, you're about to go independent, however that resonates. Um, Heart's about to shock a lot of people. So, uh, success assured with good plans and hard work. So, putting a lot of hard work and effort into whatever you're about to do very independently. If that works, I mean, not works. If that resonates for you, Aquarius. A unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. A house really needs to be sold. Your house. You have been putting off, putting off the hard work and putting off the hard work and putting off the hard work. It's time to get it done. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So for one of you guys, it's your. So I'm assuming it's your house, like your house, your house, not a fraudulent house that somebody's trying to sell. Um, your like no fraudulent signature, etc., etc., etc. Like it is your home. Whether um, you still owe a mortgage on it or you don't, like the deed paperwork is true and free and clear. It is not frauded um, in any shape, form, or fashion. Because we were pulling in fraudulent paperwork for um, homes in here earlier. So, it's actually your home. I heard um, it needs a lot of work, but you've been putting it off. So, I think you're about to use your intuition and roll up your sleeves and either do it yourself or have somebody come in and help you or hire a contractor. However, that resonates. But you're about to use your in intuition to make beneficial, beneficial changes to improve this home. I heard you know it needs to be sold, but um, I think you want to renovate it or improve it in some shape, form, or fashion to get better home value out of it before you um, sell it. And that's absolutely the smart thing to do, um, is what I'm feeling. But only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, Aquarius, okay? But I think you're about to put your um, use your intuition to either roll your sleeves up yourself have somebody help you or hire a contractor to get the work done. Um, and I think that'll be success assured with good plans and hard work. Firecracker, excitement. An exciting event coming up. For one, you're going to invite another person. For one, you're going to be invited. Well, that's beautiful. An exciting event coming up for when you're going to invite another person, for when you're going to be invited. So you plug it in, how it resonates, Aquarius. Um, I think you are going to plus one or plus two, somebody. Um, I think you obviously have this person in mind. You're going to use your intuition to make the changes as far as adding this person onto the list, I'm presuming, or people. Um, but for one, you're going to be invited. But I think you are the primary one about to be invited and you're going to, you have somebody in mind you want to invite, either one person or two or two plus, and you're about to make it happen. Success assured with good plans. It's some kind of very exciting event um, in your community, in your community is what I heard. And you're excited about this. Um, hopefully the person that you want to take with you is excited about this as well, or people. How that resonates Aquarius, okay? But I feel you're very excited about this, um, if this resonates.
For one, you're about to turn the tables on, you realize you're protecting the wrong person. You're about to turn the tables on this person in a huge way, reveal the truth, and it's about to create many positive series of chain events for you and another person. There was a huge victim in this, a huge victim, and you know it. You're about to turn the tables in a positive way to benefit you and this victim. It's going to make you very happy. Oh, shit. So you plug in how it resonates, Aquarius. So there was some kind of victim in the past in some shape or fashion. Now, whether they, you know, take on a victim mentality or not, um, you know, we, who knows? You know, uh, hopefully they don't take on a victim mentality. But regardless of whether they take on a victim mentality or not, they were still a victim. And that's just the truth. But you are very highly intuitive and you know this. Um, and you know there was a victim. Uh, whether they take on victim mentality or not. But you're about to turn the tables on the person that, um, or people, um, several people involved in this. Several people, okay, several people involved in this. So there's several people involved in this. Um, you're about to turn the tables on these people that basically either targeted, bullied, gang stalked, or harassed or one or two or two plus of those things, a person, um, you're about to turn the tables on these um, predatory type people, basically. And I heard it's going to benefit you and the victim in this. Now, whether they claim they're a victim or not, you know, but they really were, uh, but you know it. So I heard you're going to be happy to do this. So you're going to be excited about turning the tables. I heard you're going to reveal the information. It's very important information. And I think that could be this too. Truth, honesty, and clarity. I think you juggled it in the past. You contemplated it in the past. You kind of weighed it in your head in the past. Should I, should I not? But now you're about to. The energy has completely shifted. You're about to do it in a huge way. Time to do it. Okay, I heard the energy is completely shifted. You're about to do it in a huge way. Time to do it. So something about the energy, energetic shift already shifting in a huge way you know it's like time to do it, basically. Um, and it's going to create a tower for the predatory type people. I heard it was several people. So only you know who these people are that basically was predatory upon another person to make them a victim. Um, I heard it's going to benefit you and this other person in a huge way. And I heard you, I think this is going to be excitement as far as doing it. And you're going to use your intuition to make beneficial changes as far as revealing this information, which is going to cause the tower for these assholes, basically. And, yeah, nobody should be predatory upon anybody in any shape, form, or fashion ever. I mean, we're supposed to live in a free world, if anybody needs to hear that. Um, but whoever you are, you're highly intuitive and you know that. So I don't think I need to tell you that. But that's just the truth. That's the damn truth. So kudos to you about to be a change maker, whoever you are. You can be a mask or femme, Aquarius, okay? Um, that's a beautiful one. And that's just damn truth. Just saying. I heard it's going to benefit you and this other person in a huge way. So. I mean, you're not doing it strictly to help the victim, but I think you were waiting on the energy to shift, and I heard it has. So that's why you're about to do it. Like time to strike energy, knowing when to make your move. You're very intelligent, and this victim is very intelligent, and you are about to make it. You're about to make it go in your favor and their favor in a huge way. You're very intelligent. This victim is very intelligent. And you're about to make it go in your favor and their favor in a huge way. So set so success. Ah, that, 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 I can't speak. Success assured with good plans and hard work. Knowing when to reveal this information. It's going to cause a tower, man. Um, but you know it. You know it's going to. But it sounds like it needs to happen. Um, and that's just the truth. So um, kudos to whoever that's for, man. Let's pull one more little spread and then I'll close it. Got my one of my kitty cats up there on the fridge. He loves to sit on top of the stainless steel fridge and just chill. Spirit messages you have signed up for
cancer is about to make a confession soon. It's about to shock the hell out of you. You're about to take the information and run. Okay, I heard a cancer is about to uh, make a shocking confession to you. Some kind of cancer energy. They could have cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or thumb, and Hater, Jupiter charts. Whoever this cancer is and how they apply. Um, I heard they're about to make a shocking confession to you, Aquarius. Uh, once they make the shocking confession to you, I heard you're going to take the information and run. So you're going to use your uh, intuition to make beneficial changes as far as taking the information and run. And I think you're going to have success assured with good plans and hard work. And it's going to make you excited in this confession. For one, you're highly intuitive and you knew it was coming. For one, you're highly intuitive and you knew it was coming. So for one, you're highly intuitive and you knew this confession was coming from this cancer. Um, how that resonates and applies, Aquarius. Three of Pentacles reverse, death reverse, Knight of Swords upright. An Aquarius keeps getting stole from. For some, it's in a workplace situation. For some, it is someone stealing. You are a business owner that keeps stealing from you. It keeps happening and happening and happening and happening. You're trying to be nice about this. But for one, through many series of chain events, you're about to go press charges. They have been warned and they still continue to do it. Oh, my God Almighty. Whoa. For one, you need to put a lock on your locker. For one, you need to remove your purse. For one, you need to remove your password. Oh, my God. For one, you need to put a lock on your locker. For one, you need to remove your purse. And for one, you need to um, uh, keep your password away from predatory Thiefers, basically. Oh, my God. Uh, heavy thief energy. And whoever, there's at least three, you guys. Uh, some it's workplace situations, some your business owners. So only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. For one, you're at least a femme or a masculine that likes to um, carry purses or fanny packs. I'll tell you that. I heard purse. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. For one, I heard you need a lock for your locker. So I think that's a workplace dynamic. Hospitals have lockers, um, and some skilled nursing facilities have lockers. So um, other places have lockers, too. Gyms have lockers. Um, so, you know, wherever has a locker. Um, Y'all know I'm medical, so I automatically think medical, but it doesn't have to be. It's somewhere that has a locker. Only you know if you keep getting repetitively getting stole from, from a coworker or a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO, or subordinate. Um, for some, it's a workplace. For some, you are the owner. Uh, but however that resonates, they it's not the first time. They keep doing it. And whoever you are, you haven't turned them in. You haven't turned them in. But uh, I heard they keep doing it. They obviously keep disrespecting you. They keep disrespecting you. They keep disrespecting you. They keep stealing from you. They keep stealing from you. Yeah, I would say they their ass needs to be turned in. I heard for one, you're about to stand up. There's three situations in here. For one, you're going to stand up and file charges on them through the police. Um, uh, theft. And I don't blame you. There's at least three of you. So only you know if you're going to be the one about to stand up and press charges on these on oh, whoever the hell this is for keep stealing from you. For one, it's out of your purse. For one, it's something to do with the password. And for one, what was the other one? Password, um, purse, and there was another one. Uh, there was another one. You'll have to go back and check it. There was another one. There was another one. You'll have to go back and check it. But my point is, it's not the first time they've done it. And you know it. You know it's not the first time they've done it. So for one, you're going to stand up. And you are going to um, go to the police and press charges on them. I don't blame you. So they refuse to work with you as far as keep. Um, they keep stealing money from you. you. Keep stealing money. It's not over. They keep doing it. You're about to reveal the truth to the police. And press charges on their ass. It's about to create a tower for them. But they keep juggling you. They keep taking advantage of you, basically. 
I think you were trying to give them the benefit of the doubt, but they keep doing it. So I don't blame you. I do the same damn thing. And that's just the truth. Um, they've got to learn their lesson. And whoever this are, these people are, they love to take advantage of you, Aquarius. They love it. Um, and that's just the truth. An Aquarius is about to really gain respect for a particular feminine energy. They did not in the past because of other events. But they are learning the real truth now. For one, they're going to pay it forward to this feminine energy. Uh, okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So for any of you guys, you did not respect a feminine energy in the past. Now, you can be masculine or feminine. You, only you know if you didn't respect whoever this feminine energy is in the past you didn't respect. Only you know if that's your story or not. But I heard now, uh, the, the energy shifted. And I heard now you do respect her. You do respect her now. Something has happened in the universe to make you respect her, though. I heard it was because of some kind of life situations and I guess um, whatever whatever was going on in your life or her life or the situation or whatever in the past that did not you did not respect her the way you needed to. But I heard now you do. Now you do. And for one, you're going to pay it forward to her. So I think she's helped you in some type of way or given you some kind of advice or given you some kind of heads up or or done something positive to make you respect her is what I'm trying to say. And I think you're going to make your uh, use your intuition to make beneficial changes and pay it forward to her. Now, how you're going to pay it forward to her, I have no idea. There's many ways you can pay it forward to somebody. Information, you can pay it forward information. You can pay it forward financially. You can pay it forward, um, you know, through a thank you note or um, a gift or, um, uh, Hey, thanks so much. You really helped me out. Text or what have you, what have you. Somehow you're going to pay it forward. Now, only you know how you're going to pay it forward. Not anybody else, Aquarius. Okay? There's a million ways you can pay it forward in the universe. Okay? This is a really good freaking reading, Aquarius. It's really good. And that's the truth. All right, you guys. Well, I love you guys so much. I'm getting off of here. And namaste.